Yo, what is up, my crazy subscribers? This is Joking Johnson. Before today, I want to talk about the top three worst gaming companies of 2013. Now, most of these companies released a game that was pretty much unfinished, looking like beta. A bunch of them games had like a bunch of glitches and uh, bugs, and it was pretty much unplayable. Well, one company released an unplayable multiplayer, and you know where I'm getting to. So the first company coming down the aisle will be Rockstar. Rockstar pretty much released Grand Theft Auto 5 without multiplayer on the first day. All right, that's cool. You know, we'll play single mode like for a while then. We all played it. Everybody passed it. A bunch of people found out about the money glitches. And there's still no update for that. So after two weeks of wait, they released the multiplayer. Was it playable? No. It was not playable. You would get stuck in the first race in the loading screen. Or sometimes people would just get stuck in the loading screen. That's it. The, if you want to create a, your own character, it will look like it's on fucking crack. Every single character kind of looks the same. You just change the skin color. That's it. Wow. There's really no differences between anybody's sing single created character. The clothes that you wear for your character. It's pretty much lame. There's no caps. Are you kidding me? There's no caps? There's no fedoras. There's no fucking capones. Or there's no fucking cowboy hats. There's nothing. How the hell is the customization from the single story mode not go over to multiplayer? How does that work? So they pretty much screwed over like in those kinds of sections. So alright. And then uh, lately, you know, they got hacked. They got modded. Their online multiplayer really sucks right now because uh, there's a lot of hackers giving away money. Billions of dollars. It's not just like thousands like, oh, get here, half a year, like a little $7,000, you know, prize. No, no, they're giving away billions. Pretty much that means that you pass the online game because you can buy whatever you want and that money will never go away. And you cannot give away the money. I don't know how the hell the hackers do it. So, yeah. Pretty much multiplayer is messed up right now. And like I said before, it's a well-deserved hack. Because Rockstar never gave us heists. If they would have gave us heists like they said they were back in September or November. I forgot which month it was. It was November, I think. Yeah, they said they were going to give us heists by November. They barely even gave us the freaking 500 grand. You know, what makes you guys think they're going to give us heists right away? They're not. They're lazy fucks. I mean, they, they delayed the multiplayer for two weeks because supposedly they were going to fix it. No. After releasing it for after two weeks of delaying the freaking multiplayer, they took it. It took them two weeks to have the multiplayer running. So what the hell were they doing between those two weeks? As I told you guys before, they're lazy fucks. So exactly, Rockstar really deserved that hack. I mean, they're lazy. They don't. They're not gonna release heist on, not for sure. Like until April, I bet you one hundred dollars right now, guys, that heist will be released till April. After so much DLC, supposedly it's gonna be good and fun and whatever. So that's why Rockstar is in the list, because of freaking unfulfilled wishes. And a bunch of shit that got delayed. I mean, just seriously, this game is crap. But hey, it's fun at the same time, but only if you're playing it right, though. And it will be more fun. It would have heist and everything they said they would have in the game. So anyways, moving on to the next company. It will be EA. Now, we have all heard this story, guys. And it's pretty much hilarious because they pretty much deserve to be sued. Yeah, EA got sued over Battlefield 4. For delaying the DLC pack. Apparently you know the game was released with a bunch of glitches and bugs. And um, you know there was this one glitch. That I saw from a YouTuber. He was playing the game you know. And the guy got a single. Sh uh, what's it called? One shot one kill. With a gun. And I was very surprised. Because I was like holy shit. This, ga this game is exposed as fuck. How can you kill someone with, with just one bullet? So yeah, that, that was this little glitch of that, you know, that was that one. And then there was like a bunch of bug glitches with the windows. And I don't know, the, the textures were not that much of an updated texture, you know, on the on the, on the next gen. It still kind of looks the same. And a lot of people say it looks like they're still in beta or something because the game is not fixed. 
So I was like laughing my ass off. You know, I was like, God damn, you know, EA, God damn, for once, released a complete game. Released it for once. It also happened in Madden. You know, back in the day, you know, I always thought Madden was cool until they freaking released Madden 2011, Madden 2012. Actually, Madden 2012 was a back step. It pretty much was worse. It was a terrible game. So, you know, EA has this tendency of getting a game that, that's cool, like Battlefield. No, Battlefield 2 was actually good. And then from there, it just went downhill. Madden, the same thing. It was cool in 2005. And it just went downhill since then. NBA Live, it got canceled. They released NBA Live this year. The game was a piece of crap. They're, they even said sorry to their own fans. Who the hell does that? What kind of company does that? So, yeah. EA deserves to be on the top three worst gaming companies of 2013. Now, moving on to the next company on the list. Now, this one was pretty much upsetting because, uh, I don't know. I think they somehow, you know, showed something. But literally, they didn't at the end. So, the next company I'm talking about will be the company that controls and gets hold of Call of Duty. You know, whoever, you know, creates Call of Duty. I think it's Activision or Infinity Ward or Treyarch, whoever the fuck it is. You know, whoever's involved with Call of Duty, you guys are the worst companies of the year. I think you guys deserve more than Madden. Worse, worse than Madden. Worse than EA. Or, I don't know. I think you guys are... I think all these three companies that I just mentioned to you guys right now are tied with each other because they're pretty much pathetic. Rockstar with the with the unfulfilled wishes, EA with the unfinished games, and they got their asses sued. And then we got this freaking Infinity Ward slash Activision slash, um, you know, Treyarch, whatever. You know, Call of Duty is just a I don't know. You know, the companies can't get a fucking full game right. I mean, come on. All you have to do is just build up from the previous one. How the hell is that hard? You know, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm no game creator. I know that too, you know. And it, it, they do like a lot of codes. I know that. And it takes a lot of time. But god damn, I think you guys need to delay your game for a year. I think take two years to make a game. That should be better. Because apparently you guys cannot get one single Call of Duty right. Modern Warfare 3 with a lag. Black Ops 2 with the quick scopers. It was just a very, very unplayable. And then the DLC were terrible. Then this game, Call of Duty Ghosts. None of the maps are playable except for four of them or three of them. And then you freaking release Call of Duty Ghosts with just six versus six on the on the current gen. Why would you do that? Don't you guys want people to come back and buy your game again in the next gen? That would have been smart to add Ground War right in the freaking, you know, right at the end of the bat. I mean, just freaking at ground war so um and so yeah i mean this is nothing man this is garble yeah i mean i already said it so many times that you know i think this should just really call it call of duty garble call of duty garbage you know that's it so uh yeah i mean this also goes back to black ops 2 it also qualifies black ops 2 also qualifies so i mean how did they handle the black ops 2 situation they never did. How many times did they update the freaking snipers? They never did. Von der Haar really settled this thing down in a terrible way. So, I don't know. I mean, the management is just terrible in Call of Duty. So, whoever takes care of Call of Duty, you know, your company will be involved in the top three worst gaming companies of 2013. Infinity War slash Activision slash Treyarch. So this is it for now, guys. There's your worst gaming companies of 2013. EA, Rockstar, and Activision slash Infinity Ward slash Treyarch. Those are your worst gaming companies. Who will win with number one? Well, for right now, my opinion will be Rockstar for being such assholes. For not listening to the fans. That's my opinion. I know most of you guys are going to still go with EA like the year before and the year before that. And I think EA does deserve it sometimes because they got their asses sued, so that's even worse. So I don't know. You know, it depends on the people or the people judging those companies. But in my opinion, I think Rockstar deserves to be one of the worst companies out there right now. 
So this is it for now, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hopefully you guys, you know, enjoyed my topic and you guys want me to bring more topics out here. You know, leave it in the comment section. I'll talk about it and I'll give you credit for it. So, um, and I'll give you a shout out too. So, anyways, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. And I'll see you guys later and enjoy your day.